Hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today and continuing on with our how to get the Realm Walker title and seal series, we're going to be looking at how to get two Ascendant Mysteries, three Enigmatic Mysteries, ten Trivial Mysteries, and finally three data caches within the Debris of Dreams Shattered Realm. This is the second Shattered Realm and you need to find all 18 of these things as part of the Realm Walker title. As always, you're going to want to have your Wayfinder's Compass upgraded as much as possible as it is necessary to have the very final blue upgrade unlocked to get the data caches. Then as always, the first thing you're going to want to do is clear out the first beacon. Then you're going to go out to the rightmost room from this beacon, run around the corner, and you're going to find your very first chest, the supply stash. After you find this chest, you're going to make your way out the other door from the first beacon towards like where you came from at the very beginning, and you're going to find a true sight totem. You're going to use this to cross over to this slowing island on the other side of these ascendant platforms. And on this island, you're going to be able to find two chests as well as one data cache. So the first thing you're going to do is walk over and get the field of strife totem. You're going to use it to jump up on this rock and get the true sight totem and then walk up all the way to the top of these ascendant platforms to get your first chest here, the enclave enigma chest. Once you have claimed this chest, you're going to drop off to the side of this little island and you will see another totem uh, for true sight over to the right of the totems you just used. Uh, at this point, there's going to be another set of floating ascendant platforms where you can get the perilous path chest. Then walking back up the side of the island, kind of on the right side of the island, looking towards the second beacon, you're going to find the first data cache. I look around here to give you a better uh, kind of example of where you are. It's kind of hard to tell, but uh, from where you go on the island, if you just hug the right side, you're going to be able to find it. And this gives you the Harbinger's data cache. From this point, you're going to continue on towards the second beacon where uh, in the main kind of middle island of everything, you're going to find one of these ether drills. There are going to be a bunch of scorn around it. Just kill all of them and then you will get some unrefined ascendant energy to spawn. It's just a relic orb that you can pick up and you're going to see an objective mark over on this factory. Walk over to it, go through the barrier and you're going to get your refined mystery chest right here. But you're going to take this orb through the teleporter along this island here and you're going to see another objective point where you will put the refined orb into. Uh, then you'll have one of these kind of pressure pads from the hollowed layer strike. Stand on top of it until it goes all the way down. Another orb will spawn and the game will tell you to take this inside the factory to another door, uh, which you can just, you know, follow the objective mark. Once you come in here, you're going to slam the orb, kill all the enemies and scan the little console to get your first ascendant mystery refined power. Once you've gotten this chest, make your way back up to that island you were on previously, take the teleporter, and there's actually two ascendant chests as well as a data cache up here. So you're going to find a true sight totem. Uh, you're going to use it to go to the right to find the hidden refuge chest, and right next to that chest, you're going to find the Corsair's tail data cache. Once you get these two things, you're going to make your way back up to the top of the island, back to that true sight totem, and right in front of it, you're going to find the pathway leading to the envisioned ascent chest. Now, directly across from the factory, there's actually an underhanging on the island where there's just a giant room that's super slowed. In this room, you can find a field of strife and a true sight totem. Uh, you can use these to go up to find the outpost lost chest here. Then you're going to make your way back out to that same uh, barrier breach totem you were just at across from the factory, but you're going to go to the right and using true sight, you're going to be able to find the next chest called the underhang. Thank you. 
When you have reached this point, you can continue on to the second beacon, clear out all of the enemies, and this will activate the next set of totems, allowing you to get the next set of chests. From here, you're gonna go through the door that you had to go through to get to the second beacon. There's gonna be a true side uh, totem right to the, you know, kind of right on the other side of it. You're gonna follow this very simple path to get the hidden path chest. Then you're gonna go towards the final boss room. You have to go up this kind of service passage thing. I don't really know what to call it. It's a ladder. It's the only thing in this map that looks like this. When you get up to the top of it, you're actually gonna see uh, one of these buffs from Scourge of the Past. And if you activate it, you're gonna unveil a Scorn Fight Club. It's actually really cool. You're gonna see a bunch of Scorn fighting, but they're eventually gonna scatter and there are gonna be three yellow bars that you have to hunt down and kill for their codes in order to open the next Descendant Challenge called the First Rule. So go ahead, kill everything in here, kill the first yellow bar that spawns in this room, and then make your way into the uh, barrier breach room to the right of this chest. Right on the other side of this door, you're gonna find a chest just sitting there. This is the sealed stash chest. Then after you find this, you're gonna make your way through this slowed hallway towards this ledge. When you make it up to this ledge, you're gonna see a true sight totem right in front of you. If you scan it, a set of ascendant platforms will spawn, allowing you to get the shipyard secrets chest, then return back to that same true sight totem and look to your left because you're gonna find your third and final data cache called the conjuring here. So you can scan that and uh, activate it for that triumph. Then you're gonna continue down towards where you were going along the ledge, uh, go inside of this barrier breach room and you're gonna find your second named enemy. Once you have killed this one, there's one more enemy to go. So go back to that main island where the ether drill was before and drop down into that slow cave and you're gonna find your third and final yellow bar. When you kill him, you will have three supply codes on the left side of your screen for the scorn cache. Then you're gonna make your way back into that fight club room, hold X on all of the little planters that have fire in them. And once you do that, it will unlock the first rule ascendant chest. Once you have done that, we just have two more chests. Turn around on the other side of this room and drop down. There was a, a fallen barricade here, but you can scan that skirt to the past console on the right side to make it go away. When you drop down into this cave, there's gonna be a true sight uh, relic or totem there. Scan it, a series of chests will spawn, climb up it, and there will be the concealed cache chest just sitting right in front of you. And then look to your left and you're gonna see a barrier breach totem and door. Activate it, walk through the door, and you're gonna find your 18th and final secret for the Debris of Dreams activity, the secret stash chest. So congratulations, you have found all 18 chests and data caches required in the Debris of Dreams Shattered Realm in order to get Realm Walker. There are two other weeks. I already have a guide on how to get all of the chests for Forest of Echoes. So make sure you save that video for the next time it rolls around. And we will of course have a video out next week for the final Shattered Realm area as well. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. If you were interested in watching either of the two videos on screen, you can click their respective annotations to be taken to them. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure the giant version of Lego on screen to be subscribed to our awesome Destiny 2 videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I'll see you in my next video.